Right, I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to create a Photoshop action that will resize images for the web. And I have this image I shot of New York City from Brooklyn. And I'll just show you um, the image size. So right now this image is 103 megabytes, which is like massive. It's 7,000 by 5,000 pixels. So I'm going to show you a way to properly resize for the web. And we're actually going to create an action that will do this for us automatically. So each time we have an image we want to put on our website, we can just go to this action, hit play, and then it'll do everything automatically for us. So first thing I'm going to do is go to my actions panel and create a new action. I'm going to call this web resize um, and we do this 800 pixels and just hit record so first thing we need to do is go to image image size change the width to 600 and everything else should kind of adjust automatically so and then just hit OK um, and then next we need to create a new layer so on our background um, shift alt command n create a new layer shift alt command e to stamp it and then shift command u is going to desaturate our image um, next we need to add blending mode to this we're going to add you can add um, either overlay, soft light, um, linear light, kind of any of these, but I'm going to go with overlay. That's kind of gives you a medium sharpening. So we're just going to click overlay. And now filter, we're going to go to our high pass. So it's under other, and then we're going to go to high pass. It's going to add the sharpening to our image. And you can adjust this you know depending on how sharp you want your image um, so if you go too much that's way too much there so um, I'd say I'm gonna go with 0.9 and then I'm gonna hit OK so we have our sharpening done so next thing we're going to do is go to File, Save for Web. And I generally keep the d default will be 100. So but you can see down here, um, it's going to be 147 kilobytes. So we want to go to, generally I find that high works pretty well at 60. You're still keeping the uh, image quality pretty high but you're reducing your file size so I'm just gonna hit save and then I can call this um, NYC web and hit save yeah so that's how you save images for the web and then also finally just hit stop And now we'll go back to our action. So on the set current layer, we're going to click on that. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to click this panel. And we're going to insert a stop. And we're just going to say set sharpen amount. And we're also going to hit allow continue and then hit OK. And then we're going to click on these two boxes. So we're going to toggle this dialog on for the high pass and then also for the export. So basically, that's just going to allow you to make changes to that adjustment. So go back to our history. Um, go back to beginning. So just here. 
So there's our image, and we're just going to run this action. So I come down to my web resize, and I'm just going to hit play. So it's just saying set sharpen amount, continue, and then you can select. So just keep 0.9, hit OK, and then basically this will be set for us. The 60 will be set. Um, you can always change this if you need to, and then you'll just hit save, and then yeah, that's it. So hopefully this helped you guys. Um, if you want, you can download this action. I have it on my website. Um, I'll include a link for that. And I'll also include two other sizes. So I'll do 600, 800, and then 1,000. So generally, those three are pretty much all the sizes I use to upload to the web. All right, thanks for watching, guys.